This episode looks into the murder of Patrick O'Connor, a money lender, who was murdered on 9 August 1847, in an incident which would become historically known as the Bermondsey Horror. Patrick O'Connor worked as a gauger on the London docks in Victorian England in the 1840s. O'Connor was also a notorious money lender in the East End of London who would charge very high interest rates to his clients which has made him a very wealthy man. At some in 1846, O'Connor had become friends with Marie de Roux, a Swiss domestic servant who was working for Lady Blantyre at Stafford House in London. De Roux who was born in Lausanne in Switzerland in 1821 had initially arrived in England and prior for working for Lady Blantyre was in service to Lady Pork of Heldon House, Devon. On 27 May 1847, Marie would marry Frederick Manning who was a publican as, at St. James's Church, Piccadilly in London. It has often been believed that both Mannering and O'Connor were rivals in their pursuit of Marie, but it seems that Mannering won the day in Marie's hand as he was younger and boasted that he was soon to receive a large inheritance against O'Connor who although was very wealthy was considerably older than Marie. It appears though that Marie would still carry on seeing O'Connor after her marriage to Mannering, culminating into the common perception that she was having an affair with O'Connor. It would also seem that part cause of the reason for the affair was that Marie Mannering had become aware that there was no large inheritance coming to her husband. Whether she continued the affair for love or for money has never been proven. Whatever Marie's motive was to continue seeing O'Connor would take a dark turn late in the summer of 1849. On Thursday 9th August 1849, O'Connor would be invited to dinner with the Mannerings at their home at Three Men of the Place, Bermondsey, London. What transpired during this dinner would remain unclear but would end with Patrick O'Connor being shot through the back of the head at point-blank range. Neither husband or wife would take responsibility for the shooting but the bullet had not killed O'Connor, leading to Frederick Mannering finally killing him with a crowbar. Then the couple would bury O'Connor underneath the flagstones of the kitchen and cover his body with quicklime in an attempt to hasten the decay of the body. After killing O'Connor, Marie Mannering would go to O'Connor's home at Greenwood Street, Mile End Road, London where she would steal his shares in the railways and any money she could find at the property. It is at this point that the married couple would try to double-cross each other. Marie would flee to Edinburgh with a large sum of money and the shares whereas Frederick would escape to Jersey with a lesser amount. Some friends of O'Connor became suspicious of his absence after about a week and contacted the police. The police would eventually track O'Connor's movements down to his meeting with the Mannerings at Minerva Place. On 17 August when the police were searching one Minerva place, a police officer would spot damp cornerstone on the floor of the kitchen and that the earth was soft underneath. The police would tear up the stone flooring to reveal the decomposing body of Patrick O'Connor. Maria Mannering was soon arrested in Edinburgh where she was identified when she tried to sell some of the stolen shares from O'Connor. One week after Maria's arrest, her husband was arrested in Jersey. Prior to the trial on the 25th and 26th of October, the police would try and prove by interrogation that only one of the couple were responsible for the murder of O'Connor, but neither of them would take that responsibility and would accuse each other. As Marie was Swiss through birth, the jury had to have a proportional amount of French or Swiss jurors in order to ensure that they both had a fair trial. The jury would find them both guilty of murder and they would be sentenced to death by hanging. Their execution would take place on 13 November 1849 at Horsemonger Lane Goal in South London. At that time executions were public executions and would continue to be so until 1868. Their executioner William Cutcraft is estimated to have carried out 450 executions in his lifetime as an executioner. They would be the first married couple to be executed together since 1700. The crowd for their execution would be estimated at 40,000. The crowd for their execution would be estimated at 40,000. Dickens would go on to base Marie Mannering on the character of Mademoiselle Hortense in his novel Bleak House. When the hangman pulled the lever on the gallows, Frederick Mannering would die with a struggle whilst Marie Mannering would writhe a little bit before death. Both Marie and Frederick would be buried in the cemetery with the grounds Horsemonger Lane Jail, 